All right, today I'm gonna show you a tiny 60 second banjo habit that is really gonna improve your right hand technique. So when I talk to people, one thing I hear pretty commonly is that they're really drilling their right hand hard, they want practice exercises, all this kind of stuff, and that can be good, but it's also sometimes overthinking a little bit. Because here's the thing, have you ever had that experience where you are practicing a song, it's not coming together, you know, you can't play it, you finally give up, you're frustrated, and you come back the next day and, in, and you nail it on the first try? Well, that's because your brain continues to work on the song when you're done. So. I find that rather than spending hours drilling right hand technique, what really helps is to sort of tell your brain at the beginning of the practice session, take 60 seconds and tell your brain where to focus, kind of set your intention to improve your right hand technique. And the best way I've found to do that is with this just little 60 second warm up routine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to play through it once slowly with a metronome and then we'll go over each piece of it. I'll get you out of here. Before I do that, I wanna say if you are totally new to the banjo, if you're just getting acquainted with it, I've got a totally free 90 minute video course that is going to teach you how to play your first song. I think it'll really help you out. It's a lot of fun. Uh, so I will put a link on the first line of the description. Go check that out. Okay, so here's the metronome. I'm just gonna play through this slowly. That was off the cuff there. Uh, so I haven't practiced the banjo today. This is the first time I've played it uh, because I want you to hear like, I'm not always playing perfectly. Sometimes I'm hitting the wrong string. Sometimes I'm muting a string by accident. And that's kind of the point of this, right? Essentially what I'm doing is I'm playing it slow and I'm just going through it uh, with the metronome. If you're comfortable with your rhythm, you can do it without the metronome, but um, you know, at least to begin with, use the metronome. The idea here is I've sort of got these four exercises and I'm gonna move on to the next one once I can play through it, you know, a couple of times cleanly. So let's look at each piece of this. And if you want, I'll put a link in the description to a PDF with these exercises if you would like to download them. Uh, otherwise you can just watch here. So we're starting out with just this little double thumbing exercise. So we're going to open first, thumb pluck, open second, thumb pluck, third, fourth, and then we go back up. Just like that. And what I'm concentrating on is getting the index finger strike and the thumb pluck at good volumes and everything sounding clean and just hitting those strings accurately, right? Uh, and then all we do is we uh, replace the double thumb pattern with the bum ditty brush stroke pattern. So now it's just gonna be one, two, and Yeah, and I'm just concentrating on making sure my brush strokes sound full and clean there, and I'm still hitting those notes, those single notes accurately, right? Uh, and then we move on to a little bit of drop thumb. So I like to use a lot of drop thumb, and we want to get that sounding clean. So all I'm doing here is just open first, second, third, open. We do that twice or four times. Sometimes I'll do it twice, sometimes four times, depends. Uh, and then we go second, third, fourth, fifth. So, so you put it all, all together, it's just. All right. 
Uh, and then the last one is the drop thumb between the first and the second string. So we do that three times. One. And on the fourth one, uh, the fourth beat, I'm just doing open third, thumb pluck on the fifth, so. And I do that uh, because I find that a little difficult. Sometimes when I do those drop thumbs uh, repeatedly between two strings, I'll tend to accidentally mute a little bit with my thumb or whatever. So that just helps me sort of get in that right mindset. And that's the thing with this, with this little practice routine. You don't have to follow it exactly every time. Do the things that you are having trouble with, right? You'll find over time that certain things get easier, certain things get harder or whatever. Like, so uh, this can evolve with you. All right, so give that a try, 60 seconds at the beginning of each practice session, and I think you're really going to make some great strides with your right hand. All right, see you next time.